Number 21. Solve for x in 4x plus 3 all over 3 equals x minus 3 all over 4. Did you go for A, B, C, or D? Okay. So for this one, we will employ the multiplication property of equality. And that is, um, others call it cross multiplication. So we will multiply 4x plus 3 with 4 and 3 with x minus 3. So for that, you have 4 times 4x plus 3 equals 3 times the quantity x minus 3. By the distributive property, 4 times 4x will be 16x plus 4 times 3, which is 12, equals 3 times x, which is 3x, and 3 times negative 3, which is negative 9. And also, I will subtract both sides by 3x, and I will subtract both sides by 12 as well. So that gives us 13x equals negative 21. Dividing both sides by 13 to get the value of x, we have x equals negative 21 thirteenths letter C. 22. What is the remainder when the product of the first 19 positive odd numbers is divided by 21? Is it 0, 1, 10, or 17? So in this case, it's just the problem is asking if you have 1 times 3 times 5 times 7 all the way until 37 is divided by 21. What is the remainder? But if you could see, 21 is in fact factorable as 3 times 7. And, and that you could see that 3 times 7 here, the ones in red, are some of the factors of your dividend here. And since it is your divisor, which is a factor of your dividend, then it follows that the remainder is zero. Letter A. Okay. 23. Which of the following relations is not a function? Is it one-to-one, -one, many to one, one to many, or all of the above? So this, I believe it's, uh, you are familiar with this one. And that is, to make it simple, to make it short, those that end with one are in fact functions. So one-to-one -one and many-to-one -one are functions. One to many is not a function. Letter C. I hope you got it. 24. Find the difference of 5 over x plus 4 and 7 over x minus 3. Which of these four expressions do you think is the correct answer? Feel free to pause the video and solve. Okay. So for this one, so in subtracting them, you could see that they are dissimilar. They are, uh, they are dissimilar in the sense that their uh, denominators are not the same. And if that happens, we have to look for their LCD in this case, their LCD will be the product of x plus 4 and x minus 3. Because if uh, you have two fractions whose denominators have no common factor except one, then their product of the denominators will be the LCD. So you have this one. And x plus 4 times x minus 3 is your LCD. If you divide it by x plus 4, you have x minus 3. That's why the 5 here, the numerator, is multiplied by x minus 3. It's minus, so you have to place minus here, then copy the 7. x plus 4 times x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 is x plus 4. That's why it's multiplied here to your 7. 
or to make it simple, the others are calling it the butterfly method. They multiply this, 5 and x minus 3, then subtract with the product of x plus 4 and 7 all over the product of your new denominators. By distributing 5 times x minus 3 is 5x minus 15, negative 7 times x plus 4 will be negative 7x times negative 28. 5x minus 7x simplifies to negative 2x. Negative 15 minus 28 simplifies to negative 43. And the denominators were just copied. And if you answered letter C, you got it right. 25. The probability that a contestant is male is 0.4 while the probability that the, that the contestant is a singer is 0.5. What is the probability that the contestant is a male singer? Is it 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.7, or 0.9? What do you think? So from here, it says, this is in fact the probability of having the intersection, of having the both the proper, both, uh, characteristic of being male and a singer at the same time. So that's the probability of the intersection of two events. And if you have the probability of the intersection of two events, it's simply the product of the probability of the first event multiplied by the product, multiplied by the probability of the second event. So the first event is being male and the second event is being singer. So the probability of having a male singer is the probability of being male times the probability of being a singer, which is 0.4 times 0.5, or that's 0.2. Take note, we multiply them. Letter B is the correct answer. If you got it, great job. But if not, then better luck. Better luck next time. 26. Which of the following objects cannot be used to tessellate a flat surface? Is it a circle, a square, a rectangle, or a rhombus? When we speak about tessellation, tessellation is in fact Tessellation is created when a shape is repeated over and over again, covering a plane without any gaps or overlaps. Another word for a tessellation is a tiling. So do if you could see two squares, if you have here the squares, so it could tile a flat surface. So a square tessellates. It's the same thing, the same shape over and over again, so it could tessellate. The same way you have rectangles. Rectangles of the same size could tessellate a plane. If you have here rhombuses here, it also tessellates a plane because you could see there are no gaps. But if you place circles here, it could not tile the entire flat surface because if you could see, here are some gaps that are not covered with the circles. Hence, circles do not tessellate, but squares, rectangles, and rhombuses do. The correct answer here is letter A. 27. What is the remainder when f of x equals 3x cubed minus x squared minus x plus 5? is divided by x minus 3. Is it negative 1, 2, 5, 74, 97, or 151? There are many ways of doing this. You could invoke the remainder theorem, for example. And in the remainder, by the remainder theorem, you have to equate your divisor to 0. So x minus 3 equals 0, or x equals 3. And what you have to do is uh, substitute this 3 into this given dividend. 
and we will evaluate, uh, we will find the value of f of 3. And whatever the value of f of 3, that is your remainder as well. So for that, f of 3 equals 3 times 3 cubed minus 3 squared minus 3 plus 5. Simplifying it, this is 27. 3 squared is 9. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2. 3 times 27 is 81. So you have 81 minus negative 9 plus 2 is 7. Negative 7. So 81 minus 7 gives you 74. And letter B, 74 is the remainder. 28. Which of the following is the factored form of x cubed minus 64? Is it A, B, C, or D? What do you think? Now, from here, to factor a difference of two cubes, you could see x cubed is a perfect cube, 64 is four cubes. So we have here a difference of two cubes. To do that, all you have to do, remember that the first factor is a binomial and the second factor is a trinomial. So get the cube root of the first term. So cube root of x cubed is x. The cube root of negative 64, because 64 is 4 cubed, a negative 4 cubed in this case. Um, so its cube root is negative 4. So that's this one. Then you will have a trinomial. You will now focus your attention on this binomial. So you square the first term, x squared. You multiply the first and the second term, x times negative 4, it's negative 4x, but uh, you have to reverse the sign, so plus 4x. Then lastly, you square the last term, which is plus 16. Letter C is the correct answer here. 29. What is the circumference in units of a circle with radius of 10 units? Is it 30 pi, 25 pi, 15 pi, or 10 pi? So from here, uh, you know that the formula for circumference is 2 pi r, or 2 times pi times the radius. And the radius is 10, so you have 2 times pi times 10. 2 times 10 is 20, so the circumference is 20 pi units. But since 20 pi is not one of the choices, so we go with letter E based on the instruction that we have. Okay, number 30. How many real numbers is equal to its square? Is it one, two, three, or four? How many real numbers is equal to its square? Uh, so we have zero squared, which is zero. One squared, which is one. So you could see that zero squared equals zero and one squared equals one. And I believe there's no more. Hence, there are only two such integers. Therefore, the correct answer is letter B. Okay.